Let's uh, let's talk about the fact that IGN did a bad one. Oh, sure did. Yeah, what is this? But not... You know what? Matt doesn't know. So let's have Matt attempt a guess about what IGN did a bad one uh, for. An IGN writer. Okay. What do you think they did bad? I need this... a little bit more a, of it. An IGN writer did a bad thing. With one of their reviews. Any guesses? Um, he reviewed something that wasn't quite out yet. Or no, no, he just stole it. Just stole it. So, uh, Mother's Basement had a big thing oh, on this shit. not long ago. <laughs> I think he where stole Mother's Basement. Mother's or... Basement was exposing some <laughs> uh, a Brazilian YouTuber just stole that videos. just uh, just took his videos, wrote the script down, that, yeah, uh, and word that. for word repeated his shit. Uh, a dead cells review went up on IGN and word for word more not word for word but almost word for word it's the textbook plagiarism where they take the sentence and, and then re- they replace everything repl- with synonyms and they yeah and the same structure and everything going through as Philip uh, Muchin rips off the review by Boomstick Gaming hey by the way everyone go check out Boomstick Gaming with reviews good enough to steal there you go um and yeah, it just kind of is like, well, that's an embarrassing no-no, of course, but it's happened before. And what was the other review? Well, apparently the same guy. I heard that it yeah. was the same guy, no, Phil, fine, Phil Munchkin. Does anyone know what the game I was? I do not remember. Okay. So if that happened, if the same guy pulled this off fucking twice, <laughs> dude, time to pack up your fucking things. Here's the thing. Because if you're playing Imagine Babies... And you, you said you need to review this. Steal all you want. I can understand that you don't want to do it. I, I disagree. But no, I get the point no. I'll, I'll steal, finish, finish your steal point. Steal all but. you want. I'm not gonna hate on you for the fact that you didn't want to do it. I hate the fact. I hate the fact that you stole. But I can at least understand that you don't want to do a thing. It's fucking dead cells. It's an awesome game that's been around for like a year on early access. So- you had infinite time so this, to write so this so this is the thing that i actually cuz i will also i get to say again i disagree with stealing the and also Babies that review. and this individual person might not have based on being like i have to review all this but other shit my desk is too swamped oh you need it next week ah! there, there are so many parts to this and uh, jim obviously put a video out of this oh, this morning oh cool i didn't see it uh you should check it out he sums the whole thing up everybody go watch jim sterling's review on this and also check out boomstick gaming they deserve it after all of this shit but what happened here? Because there's a couple things. Either what they didn't get enough time. How would they not get enough well, time? So here they, the game, like Matt just said, mm-hmm. game's been out for a year. The, the preview the, codes the must have been game. gone out <laughs> yeah. ages ago, right? For the Switch version. I, but, but but let's yeah, let's ignore yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's did the per- so either the person never played Dead Cells for whatever reason, got it on their slate, and just didn't want to do it or ran out of time, right, and stole it, or they did play Dead Cells, and they do like it, but they couldn't be asked to write their own review, so they just stole it's this un- guy. You just know way to know. And what makes this extra awful is how obvious it is that they tried to get away with it by stealing. Like Boomstick Gaming is a very small channel. Yeah, mm-hmm. take don't, it from this little guy. Don't no one take will it notice. From the big guy. No one will notice. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't pick a big one for sure. And, and I will have to agree with with one of Jim's points is that. What's even more like offensive than plagiarism is the idea that an IGN review getting stolen wouldn't get noticed. Like, mm. how stupid yeah. do you have mm. to be? In like in video games, do you um, see how crazy people as if, are about as, this shit? Like, as if they needed more flack in the with the reputation they have, you know. Like, but but here's the thing though. So uh, the 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 um god what is wrong with me i'm tired you're tired that's what's wrong with you i was falling asleep earlier you're holding it together better but word no happen come out what do you want to say plagiarism plagiarize your words so that you can talk still think about another point someone else made and just repeat it but you change the words a little yeah i remember um it's that uh, if I'm going back, uh, like maybe ten years ago or so, I remember when uh, of our uh, a friend that we all have actually <laughs> would God, write for various online publications uh, and do some reviews and stuff. And when he was reviewing things, like we'd you know talk about like how those reviews would come and go, 
And sometimes you'd pretty much be in a situation where there's a chain email thread. A number of games have come in. A number of builds have come in. They need to be covered. People pick what their strengths are. And occasionally there's shit left sitting there that no one's picking. Hey, Wooly. That are not your strengths. It's time for you to review Soccer Manager. Okay. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, too fucking bad. But can't you get Matt to do it? No. Matt's busy with God of War. Are you want to delay the God of War review? No, you're reviewing Soccer Manager. By the way, the reason I picked Soccer Manager is because that exact situation happened on IGN a few years ago. You remember that shit? No. Where the guy gave the fucking Soccer Manager series like a two, said this game sucks, you don't even play soccer? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, um, and the thing is we know that you can't delay. Football Manager, whatever. You can't put it off and do it next week because next week another game's coming out. Right? Or the, this game's out next week. Like, there's no time you do it. Right. So there would there, there would be these times uh, that in, in, uh, that my and friend. Hire more writers or hire better ones. Well, the money's not that great yet. <laughs> you know, it's already not great for them to begin with. A lot of them are starting it out pretty much pro bono. But um, so, uh, you know, they, they're the uh, this situation was one that was described where, yeah, they'd be looking at games that like are being left in the in the pile so to speak and people would have to more or less fucking rock paper scissors it you know and then do their best um there's also a this is a game that is a very fun good one that people are excited about so it seems weird that it would be left in the pile yeah but it's definitely true that that pile thing also happens if let's say no one else around is a souls fanatic you're the only one mm. souls games are big and they're known and they're popular but you're really busy on your god of war review that you haven't done yet like the, the release calendar can just happen so that it just it, it sucks so you would care and have the time to write this passionately if you didn't have to write another huger thing but it's not the way the fucking like, I put it this way. thing shook out. I, I imagine all that to say that it's just all those stresses and weird things come together in a horrible fucking decision to try and get away with bullshit by stealing someone's review as a possibility that I think I'm like, I'm trying to put together like why someone oh, that, would make such a stupid decision. That is very And likely that's the closest the, thing the, I can think case. of. It's like, this has to happen by now. I literally don't have time to do it. Because anything else, that yeah, but, anything that else, is, like you're still an asshole, but like anything else means you're an asshole and a gigantic moron. Well, guess what? what? I have a piece of the puzzle for you. What? The writer of this review put out a tweet before it went up going, Hey everyone, I'm really proud of this review. It's the first one that I've ever been able to edit together myself. Wow. For the video review. Of course it would be. So everyone check it out. Jesus. I saw that fucking tweet. The amount of time it takes to rip <laughs> off a review, you could have made the review. Yes! You, you could have. You could have played the game for like half an hour. <laughs> I'll give you that, and just be like, "This seems pretty good," and then just make believe. No, nah, man, this is a big deal for my career. Look, everyone, I did it. I made a really good one myself. Sh Me. Shoutouts to Boomstick Gaming for simply saying, "Hey guys, what do I do about this?" Doubling their uh, sub count. Uh, in the 12 hours yeah, since this has occurred. Yeah, but I hope, I, I hope IGN fucking rips off our dumb Well, shit. I mean, I'll be, but yeah, because guess God. what? You know you know what everyone, you know, like... I believe they did. <laughs> Actually. What? They never asked us for the permission for those XCOM clips. Uh, no, I think they did. Oh, they did? I think I'm... I, oh, me, okay. I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember. remember. Whatever. I'm sure they ripped us off somewhere. Well... I think I was asked. I mean... <laughs> There ain't no party like an IGN dump party. Remember that McDonald's shit? I don't. Oh, they, oh God. It was fucking... But, yeah. IGN's in a place where everyone really loves to go fucking IGN. So why would you give them that? And I've had a lot like, of people leaving over the past couple of uh, years. Like, it is... It, IGN is falling apart in slow motion. In front of everyone. You know, games MSN64, journalism MSN64. as it is. MSN64.com. Can't, yeah, I'm just yeah. watching quick time clips of Quantum Ocarina of Time. I <laughs> sure. I yeah. could go my whole life without hearing the word quick time again, and I would be very happy. No, it was great. Crash your fucking computer. I just want to watch a ten minute video. You know, there's the, there's this thing out there where it's like you know uh, uh, IGN and, and and you know Polygon and some of these sites just like you're not getting a good rap. You you kind of want to. Well, Polygon was fucked because it started broken. But you, I'm saying you'd want to do everything in your power to like try to change that as much as possible. And if you're working for them as a writer, 
Like every time you do this, your one dumb missed decision makes the entire company yeah. like fucking get th- raked over the coals because of your stupid shit. Yeah, Ryan, like, like as an individual, don't be that dumb. You do you know? remember? Like, I think it was Arthur Gies, the noted piece of shit, who uh, was talking in an interview where people were, were were yelling at Polygon of like, you guys took like fifty. It was a twenty five or fifty grand from Microsoft to do that documentary about how they were going to change video game reviewing. And the, the, the quote came out is like, you really think that we would let ourselves get bought or influenced for like 50 grand? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, right, why right. would you ask that question in that right, way? Right, right. Like, of, co- of course. Are you fucking I, stupid? The implication are is... You, are you fucking... Are the, you a fucking the, moron? The implication is that's exactly what I believe, actually. I that's, thought why that I'm point, that's why I'm bringing this up. Because <laughs> I'm pointing out that somebody gave you money, and I think that you like them more now. Oh, fuck. What, you think just because he get? What, you think just because Wooly rubbed my back and gave me $100 and bought me dinner that I like him better than you now? Hey, I hit the good spot. Yeah, I do. Those are nice things to do. Those engender friendships. Yeah. See, the weird it's thing... so... Like, that makes me crazy. When people ask a question, like, you're an idiot for asking it, but the answer to the question is, yeah. The, the, there's a weird thing where it's like the whole... Um, the whole saucing up the press with like your crazy lavish parties with like fucking Tony Hawk, like skate you Flying know skate ramps and, Hawaii for captivate and, and so on and so, like that'll never you yeah. know that that that'll never fucking it's, go you away. You want to pe- put people uh, you drive F one cars around before yeah. looking at Gran Turismo, but and those things shouldn't affect a fucking review, of course. Yeah, but I say this also loving the idea of press kits a lot of the time because there's some really cool ones, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I, I don't know uh, like. That Final Fight barrel is I'm really cool for yeah. fans of Final Fight. Yeah, yep. totally. And it's nice that it existed. Am I paying you for a review? No. I'm just trying to make you have a good mood and have happy feelings when you think about Final Fight. All of Fight. the time. Right? Should have put a Cody Dakimakura in that fucking... Oh, it's, 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 it's a, the, the, the time frame did not quite work 